Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This uh, blog is entitled, Are Drug Lords Using RF Weapons Against Members of Our Community? There are stories in the news about directed, pulsed, radio frequency, or RF, energy, or possibly microwave weapons allegedly being used by drug lords in Cuba to tamper with the brainwaves of CIA operatives there. <clears throat> the result apparently varies from minor symptoms such as vertigo and headache to permanent hearing loss and or brain injuries known as Havana syndrome. According to a Wikipedia article, while there is no expert consensus on the cause of the symptoms, a co-author of the JAMA study considered microwave weapons to be a main suspect for the phenomenon. That's in Havana Syndrome in Wikipedia. This jibes with my sighting some years ago in Grants, New Mexico, of what seemed to me to be a huge microwave emitter on a bus and the mental confusion I experienced that night and again at the 3HO summer solstice celebration in Española, New Mexico, which seemed to me at the time to be a target of the operations of what may have been drug lords that financed the assembly and operation of the bus. Uh, you can find that story in my blog entitled Alice's Perilous Tales, Fatal Dungeons and Dragons Game. Uh, when you get there, you surf to the part entitled The Rocking Bus with the Gizmos on Top. There was more about in the Los Angeles Times about the Havana Syndrome just yesterday. Uh, this was an article entitled Congress to Assist Brain Injury Victims of Mysterious Havana Syndrome written by Tracy Wilkinson in the Los Angeles Times and the date was the 26th of July 2021 in case you want to look it up. It seems to me possible the odd telepathic milieu I have been experiencing in my backyard after 3 p.m here in the San Fernando Valley in recent days may have to do with too much radio frequency emissions, Wi-Fi, and microwave garble in the air at those times. Whether that may be intentional and used by local drug lords to target members of the community who are just say no to drugs, such as I, or simply a heretofore unknown symptom of the electronic burden borne by modern society, I cannot say. Ancillary to targeting of just say no to drugs, members of our local communities, might be a theme of neo-Hindu death cult or black magic practitioners, Jewish Kabbalists who use their psychic talents in an antisocial way, indigenous cults, voodoo practitioners, or Satanists who may be at war against Hindus who worship along traditional lines, more faithful Jewish more traditional Jewish faithful, Christians, Sikhs, and Muslims across the globe. In other words, um, uh, cults that tend towards um, antisocial practices that are and which are at odds with traditional religions. From my own recent research, I note that inexpensive radio frequency detector devices are readily available online. These can be used to determine whether RF pulses are happening in and around your home. Then in research on how to incapacitate a vehicular low jack, in the likelihood drug lords may have hacked into LOJAC databases and might be able to use those data to track and target hits. I found that wire mesh wrapped around a LOJAC jams the signal. From that I gather that an intermittent barrier pattern 
such as slats in a fence with openings between the slats might be one way to confuse and interrupt pulsed radio frequency signals. Uh, this is a blog that I wrote and then added to a bigger blog called Ascension Cautions for those who feel they have been reviewing, have been viewing a virtual reality show. And these blogs are on my site, awakeningwithplanetearth.com. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day.